Hi there, welcome back. Uh, this is a C programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial is actually a continuation, kind of continuation from the previous tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous tutorial, I would recommend that you watch it first. Um, uh, you can see, if you can find the link on the screen right now. Um, uh, also, you will find another link on the screen which basically takes you to all the tutorials in this series. Um, okay so let's get started so we were actually looking at how to output the values of a variable um, and um, and what we did was basically we took three variables here and we wrote a little small program which basically all it does is basically adds two numbers so we assigned the value of uh, of 4 to x you know and uh, you know we first declared three variables x y z then we assign value of 4 to x value of 3 to y and then we add these two numbers and we get and then we printed this message print f the sum of and percent d is basically the format specifier for x so when the com when the computer looks at this uh, it says okay the sum it prints it as is whatever is in quotes it prints everything as is except except something that starts with percent sign so so it says the sum of and then instead of percent it basically percent d it basically prints the value of x the percent d tells it that okay print the value of this variable as a number okay now now suppose suppose if we had a, a character type defined character c and if we assign the value to uh, c as uh, you know a you know this is a value to value of c as we saw saw this before this is a constant a and we assign this value to to this variable c and since it's not a number the value it's a character uh, the the type of c is defined to be as character character c so it can take this kind of value. If I if I if I if I would write something like x equal to b like this, this is not going to work because x is supposed to hold only numbers. We cannot assign b to x. Anyway, the value b, not the variable b. Okay, there is no such variable b over here. Anyway, anyway. So so suppose if we wanted to print the value of c here also, let's write another statement. We say the value of c is and since it is a character type we will have to use the character format specifier percent c so it we will write percent c here okay and then and then we write the variable name that we want to be printed here so we do this c okay and let's look at the output here so look at this so it says the sum of percent d the value of x which is 4 right here of 4 and the value of next variable which is y 3 is 7 which is the value of z then it says the the value of c is percent c so it substitute percent percent c with the value of c which is a so it displayed a now notice here that there both of the output are on the same line and that's because the the c compiler this printf statement it doesn't actually brings the output to the next line it doesn't bring the cursor to the next line it basically just leaves it it just keeps on printing it in the same way uh, one after the other unless you tell it to do so so you have to tell every single thing in a computer program even to bring the cursor to the next line so how do you tell that there is this thing backslash n now these are called escape sequences again just like com computer does not print percent d as is it doesn't print percent d it doesn't say the sum of percent d it basically what it, percent sign tells it that okay substitute the value of this variable 
in this place. Backslash n, basically, it doesn't print back backslash n as is. What it does is it tells the com compiler or the computer to basically print the n go to the next line. So when it goes to the next line, it basically starts printing the next the next message on the next line. So it's always a good idea to f end your output with a backslash n unless you want the next message to be printed on the same line. Okay. So so let's see let's see how it looks like now. So we compile it and we are running it again. Now see how these two outputs are now on two different lines. So this is how you do the character output. Now the cool thing about characters is basically you can treat them as numbers as well. So C is equal to C was defined as character. You could basically print it as as an integer and in order to print it as integer you will have to say percent d let's see what it does look at that so our output now is it says the value of c is also 97 so is also percent d it says the treat this as a number and then it says percent d now if you have taken my if you watched the one of my other previous videos on, on binary number systems you w I told you before in, in that in that in that um, tutorial I told you that basically um, computer stores everything in numbers that's all it understands that's why a binary number system is so important because it stores everything in numbers and not only numbers in the form of binary numbers you know so this a actually is stored inside the computer computer's memory as number 97 and when we print it we ask it to print it as a character it basically takes that 97 and changes it into the character a because the code for character a is 97 but when it we tell it to treat it as number then it prints it as is it prints the value of of a by the way that is called ns uh, ascii code of 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 a so all the all the letters a b c d capital a small a and all these letters that you that you come across and even question mark and all these things which are not numbers they have a number assigned to them and that's called an ascii a s c i i and it's like american standard code for information interchange or something like that and that that basically that code actually is how it represents that character in the memory because it cannot store it cannot write a in the memory because you know there is no there's the only thing it can write in the memory is numbers ones and zeros the binary numbers so this basically concludes the uh, how to basically outputs the value of variables on the screen in the next lecture we are going to learn how to input the values here you can see we have hard coded you know we just specified that x is equal to 4 y is equal to 3 what if we want the user to basically enter this val these values and uh, and then we basically add those two numbers so stay tuned keep watching the videos thank you so much